brought him here for you, Polly. Mary, get your shit together, we're leaving. Slam that door hard, Stevie. <laughs> leaving? You heard me. Where are we going? Anywhere so long as it's far away from your fake marriage to my fake friend. Hey, Petey. Those before bros, right, Polly? Hey, like that, Petey. Yeah, what's it like? I love you longer than you even knew him. What you say? Are you trying to apple and orange another person's love? Are you trying to sweep your clean under the keep a drug? Are you trying to flip down the pictures of a man that gets blown up, trying to make the world a little safer for little <gasps> backstabbers, vampires like yourself? Is that what you were trying to say? <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> but you people ought to be ashamed of yourself. You and you. You look a whole lot better than not them, brother, and you. That's the brother, right, Petey? Yeah, Fat Joey. You help them move my stuff out of here, Joey? You put all my baseball cards in boxes while you're giving Paulie high fives? I didn't steal any of your baseball cards. I never said you did. Uh, we all felt terrible about putting your stuff in the storage, Petey. Not terrible enough not to do it. They're in love. I was in love. Then why'd you leave me? Because he didn't love you enough to stay. But I stayed, Mary. You empty moral bastard! A whole lot of you make me sick, and I don't know any of you other people, but if you're associated with this contaminated home, I'm sure there's something wrong with you that just ain't right. Thanks, Stevie. But you people don't make balls worth fighting for. Look what you do with your freedom. You destroy people's happiness. Y'all don't be more moral under oppressive regimes. What you looking at, Rangadang? <laughs>